So these are on uh, an oblong rectangular light stand. And like I said, you can change the color mode just by pushing the button in the front. Here's a button in the front here, see it? This button here. There. There it is. Okay. And I put these little gems inside too. That'd be extra if you want the gems. This is my lotus one. I'm gonna put some gems in that too. Going crazy with the moles, the epoxy moles. They are gorgeous. And then there's these molds too, which will not be used in a light stand unless I choose to. And it's on that beautiful glass platter I got at Hobby Lobby. Pretty cool stuff. Here's how they look not lit up. This is just a natural light sitting on a light stand, but it's not lit up. I think they're pretty gorgeous, just in natural light. They added a few little crystals inside, little glass beads. And you can light them up if you want to. And that's how it looks lit. That's pretty cool too. The mirrored, gla mirrored uh, platter it's sitting on, you can get these at uh, Hobby Lobby. They're about seven. Molds run you me would run you between 10 and 15. Light stands do not come with them. They are pretty cool on a light stand, I have to say. And these light stands are really cool because they change color by pressing this button. Just a different color combination happens. So they're really nice. I can give you the link if you're really interested in getting the light stand. Now here's some new molds sitting up on light stands. Really cool. Just beautiful. So the moles run between 10 and 15. Does not come with a light stand. You can get those on Amazon.com. <clears throat> okay, so here's a couple of new molds I recently got. They've been a challenge to work with these molds. It took me three times on this one to figure out how to finally unmold it without having to rip through it. And the third one, I figured it out, finally. <clears throat> it's going to be gorgeous, I think, when it's finished. It's, I guess, called a crystal mold candle holder. But I probably wouldn't put a candle in it, but I like putting um, some sparkly stuff in them. Like, uh, like this stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right into the center. It's really cool. And... Um, They'll be unmolded tomorrow. It only takes 24 hours. These are the colors I used. I used this Rolio Black Mica Dust, uh, Dr. Martin's Iridescent, and Dr. Martin's Iridescent Green. Uh, there's a couple of things I got working in the back too. That are molds that you pour into a little bit at a time. So you make up the resin a little at a time. I just love working with resin. I know it's a bear. I know it's really messy. But um, after a while, you get the hang of it. 
Okay, guys, tomorrow's the unmolding. We'll see what happens. Thank <laughs> you.